Welcome back, everyone, to another Thunder Thursdays. Of course, it is Thunder Thursday because, of course, this is a Thunder Laser. If you guys haven't tuned into the previous weeks, this is a Thunder Nova 24 CO2 Laser. This thing is amazing. It can engrave wood. You can engrave glass. You can do galvanized metal. You can do cutting boards, tumblers, you name it, glass like I talked about. I'm having a lot of fun with this machine. I'm doing a lot of woodworking. I've gotten a couple orders so far on a couple of my things that I've made, which is awesome. That's what I really love doing. I love seeing people's reactions when I actually make something that's handmade and you give it to them. It's just, there's no better feeling when you hand make something and you give it to somebody. So that's what I love doing with this machine. But today, we're going to be talking about my favorite device that I've gotten for this. Now, this is something you have to purchase, purchase separate uh, to the laser. Um, but this is, it's, it's, it, I just, this thing is so awesome. I can't wait to show it today. It is the light burn camera. So this camera is a separate purchase to the actual laser. Uh, it's actually really not that hard to install. There's a lot of videos out there about how hard this, these late, uh, the light burn cameras are to install. And honestly, it's really not that hard to install. It, it this thing is just so awesome because let's be honest, guys. A lot of us have wood. We have scraps that look like this. We have scraps that look like this. And, or we have scraps that look like this. And, what, you know, we really don't want to throw this stuff out. I mean, this stuff, you know, this is expensive. Wood is not cheap. Uh, I use a quarter inch plywood from Home Depot. It's birch plywood. It's about $30 for a four by eight sheet. Now, I've priced my stuff out to where I'm getting a good return on my money on what I'm making and I'm trying to I cut everything to size that will fit in my bed and what I'm designing to fit in that bed or on the piece of sheet of wood that I'm doing my pieces of sheet or wood of wood are about 16 by 20 so that fits my bed size and what I'm able to cut out so according to your bed size it might be different but that's what I'm doing here so a good piece of wood right here I mean there's a lot of wood on here that I could still cut out I mean I could cut out here you know, I could cut out here, 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 like anywhere. I could still cut out here. Now, the framing tool on these devices, now, they do work pretty well. But this camera right here, it just takes all that guesswork or the framing tool out of it. So, let me show you. So, to install the light burn camera, it comes in this 3D printed holder. The actual camera is inside this holder right here. There's a cord that comes right here that gets connected into the side of the actual camera. And then what you do is you just feed this cord down inside your laser and then from there you just feed it down there's a hole back behind this gantry right here and then that feeds into over here where you have your usb ports and now this white wire here is for the actual camera this usb the black one here goes to your laptop so you can control light burn from it and it's really not that hard it's really easy to install this you really just kind of got to get it in the middle um, I taped it up with blue painters tape before I per permanently put the 3M, it's a double uh, sided adhesive, put it up here so it's nice and still. And then what you want to do is, is obviously you want to have your door upward because it's going to take the picture of your bed from up here. So when it updates the overlay over here in Lightburn, you have a really nice picture. So let me hop into Lightburn now. So we're over in Lightburn now, and as you can see here, I have a template up here. I did a Star Wars sign. I'm going to show you a couple of my projects here at the end that I've done recently, so stay tuned to check those projects out. There are really some really cool projects that I've done. But as you can see here, this is a Star Wars layout that I have here. Now, for instance, if you mess up on a cut, something didn't come out exactly like you wanted, or, you know, like, whatever. Whatever can happen. Maybe the wood warped or something. And you want to just cut out, say, one of those letters, or you got like a circle or a square you want to cut out, and you don't want to use a whole board like I was showing you, and you have your scraps. This is a perfect example right here of what you can do in Lightburn with the Lightburn cam uh, camera. So what you do is you come over to here where it says camera control, and then over here you want to connect to your Lightburn camera. Once you connect to your Lightburn camera, as you can see here, that you have the image of your bed now. And then what you can do is, is you can hit update overlay. And what that update overlay does is it takes a picture of your bed. So you want to definitely make sure you have your piece of wood or whatever on your bed where you want it. You want to have your laser head away from the board so you can get a nice clean picture. Now you can see I have plenty of area 
that say I wanted to cut out a diff another letter, like I was saying before, if it came out bad, what I can do is, is I can grab this W right here and I can place this right here and I can have that cut out exactly in that spot. I'm not wasting any a big board. I'm using up as much of the of, of previous boards that I have. So as you can see there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do a quick tusk cut so I can show you guys exactly. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can see it's going to cut out exactly where that is. <laughs> this, this, I'm telling you guys, this light burn camera is a lifesaver when you want to get the most cost you want to get the you want to get the most out of your wood this is the way to go so let me show you i got everything focused on my board over here with my laser head i'm going to cut this out and show you exactly where this cuts So there you have it guys. You can see that W cut out perfectly exactly where we wanted it to. This is awesome guys. I'm Like I said, you can save so much money by keeping your scraps because believe me, there's gonna be times where something doesn't cut out properly or doesn't engrave properly. You can align that up right with that camera with the capture of the update overlay, taking that picture of your work bed. And I, this has really come in handy with a couple of projects that I've done. Uh, especially with this Star Wars one, this little Yoda W. So stick around. I'm going to show you that project right here in one second. But definitely, definitely high recommend you get the camera if you want to use the most of your material and you want to keep costs down, get the light burn camera. It is a lifesaver. So as you can see here, that W was from this Star Wars sign right here that I made with the quarter inch plywood that I got from Home Depot. This is a really cool, nice wood sign. Uh, I actually found this uh, image on Etsy. I did have to modify it a little bit because obviously when you're doing, you're cutting out wood, you're going to have to weld some things together, especially here with the Death Star right here. There's different things that I had to edit, but it was really easy to do. And I think this came out really nice. I have my little hanger that I make on the back here as well. So you can hang this up on the wall and the colors, it just pops with the yellow and the black. It looks really great. So I've been super happy with this sign as well. And then finally, the Dollar Tree got in the cutting boards that I wanted. These cutting boards are only five bucks at the Dollar Tree. Now they are bamboo, so engraving them is a little tough. But as you can see here, you got the Eagles logo right here in the middle. This is the, obviously the field. This looks great on a full scale. I did do a little one. They do have small cutting boards as well, and it looked great on that one as well. But this just looks awesome. I did treat it with some cutting board oil after I got done engraving it, but yeah, I'm really super happy with it. The engraving process is really awesome. Is once you get your settings down, it's really great. And I did use the light burn camera on this as well. I was able to line this up perfectly where I wanted with a nice amount on both sides. Not where exactly pinpointed, really good. So again, that light burn camera came in really handy with this one as well. And then of course, you know, you got to make things for the wife, for the kids, things like that. So it was my wife's birthday this past week and I made her this sign as well. I have a nice stained back here. This is one of my favorite stains. It is called the Early American. Um, there's just something about this stain. It's just, I really, I use it a lot in different things that I've made over the, pa over the years. And you got the puzzle pieces here that were engraved. Um, everything and then this is painted the letters are painted and it just all came together with the star bond glue We talked about that last week the star bond glue the super glue. It's really great really Strong everything's held on really strong and again I got my hanger on the back so we can hang this on the wall and display for everyone to see So there you have it guys another Thunder Thursdays episode number three We talked about the light burn camera. I do again. I highly recommend if you're going to, you want to be the most cost effective when it comes to wood or different material that you're cutting out on. Again, that framing tool, it is a good tool to have. It's in Lightburn, but that camera just makes life so much easier, especially if you're someone that's very technical, you really want to see everything. Get the Lightburn camera. You're going to thank yourself a million times over. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you next Thursday.